Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this video is going to be a little different uh, because I'm mostly going to be focused on doing uh, confessions. So without further ado, let's get right into the confessions. Alright, <clears throat> the first confession. Am I Italian? Uh, unfortunately, no. I'm not Italian. I never was. Uh, my parents, they're both Mexican. I'm Mexican. I mean, probably my ancestry through DNA. Maybe I have some. I'm not Italian. Alright, on to the next. Uh, how old am I, really? I am actually 18 years old, so I didn't lie about that. I was born on October 13th of 2005, sorry. But yes, I am uh, 18 years old. I'm not 19, I'm not 20, I'm not 21, I'm not 17, I'm not 16. So, uh, yeah. Uh, did I really meet Chadwick Boseman? No, I didn't. That was another lie. And it's something I regret now. Uh, after his passing, and it's something I probably shouldn't have lied about, because that's really just it's disrespectful, and it doesn't feel right. And that this one, this one's always, I've always held this one because it was like something I regret. Um, but yeah, no, I never got to meet him. I always wanted to until you know, unfortunately, he died. But yeah, no, I, I never met him. <laughs> Alright, favorite movie slash TV show. Uh, my favorite movie is Avengers Endgame. And no matter how good another movie is, and no matter how descriptive you are about your favorite movie, it's not changing my mind. And it will always be my favorite movie. And for TV show, this one's, I want to say tough, but it has to go to Breaking Bad. It's either Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul. I guess there's something uh, about it that just kind of connected with me. And it just became so good, I couldn't stop watching it. I just binge-watched the whole thing, even the movies and everything. And I just fell in love with it. Uh, and I don't know, but yeah, those are my, my two favorites. I love those two. Alright, on to the next. Am I your real dad? Uh, to be honest... I could. I mean, I have one, two, three. I have so many kids out there, I don't even know. I mean, you could be. Alright, on to the next. Are you 18 actually? Uh, yes, I am actually 18. Like I said, I was born in October 13, 2005. Uh,. So yeah, I am 18. Uh, the next one. Uh, guys, I have something to say. Omar is actually 20. Uh, unfortunately, I am not. Like I said, I am uh, 18 years old. I was born in 2005 on October the 13th. Uh, Friday, to be specifically. That's making a reference to uh, Friday the 13th. It uh, doesn't matter, but I was born the 13th on 2005. So I am 18 and not 20. Just wait. Two more years. Oh, another confession. I'm not very good at math, as you guys saw. Are you freaky, bro? Uh... I think I am, to be honest. I don't like showing that part of me, but if it does come to the time, it's like I'm a very freaky guy. Next one. How did you change so quickly? You went from someone who was doubting themselves to someone who was confident. To be honest, I think that's just the, the environment I surrounded myself. I was doubtful because I was just in a negative environment and once I went to a positive and I had like people that understood me and really cared for me, that's when I realized that I'm like, you know what, I have the confidence and like, you know, I could do it, I could really do it. And so yeah, like, I just, I just started believing in myself. Uh, 
and it also goes to like the environment like all the friends I made all the people I met they they really changed me and so yeah that's how I'm able to just go from someone who just goes like oh like I can't do this I'm not good enough to you know I believe in myself and I know I'll win an Oscar see so uh yeah, yeah that's that's how I changed uh, from doubtful to confident <laughs> We have made it to the last confession. How are you real 24-7? I guess I'm just... I guess I'm just... Uh, well, when you see me in the hallways, I mostly don't look at people. Uh, I've I've always thought I, it was just like uh, because I wanted to be mysterious. But now that I'm really noticing it, I think I'm just... I just can't have eye contact. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I am weird, you know? I, I always said I wasn't weird, but to be honest, I'm embracing it, so. Yeah, like, if you don't see me do eye contact with you, I, I don't hate you. It's just, I can't do it. I don't know why. Or, or, like, if you're passing by and I don't say hi, I totally see you. I totally acknowledge you. It's just, like, it's, I don't know. I guess I'm an introvert. I, I don't know. It's weird, yeah. It's, it's weird. But how I keep it 24-7? That's how I do it, like, I just kind of, when I'm really feeling myself, I'll, I'll be like, eh, you know, I'll, I just like keeping it real. I, I This is the reason why I'm making the video, because I don't want to lie anymore, and I don't want to put on a mask and not really show the, the, the real me to, to people that, you know, that, uh, that I talk to, because when I graduate, I don't want to leave a, a fake version of me. I want to clear up all the loose ends that I said. So they get to know the real me before I get out. So yeah, that's how I keep it real. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you guys liked, uh, like them, sorry. You can just drop a like or a comment. Say anything you want me to clear up or something I missed. Uh, if you still have questions, just comment it uh, down below. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to come clean. Uh, get some lies off and really, really say the truth because it's something I struggle with it's like lying is it's my second nature and I really want to change that so uh, yeah if you have any more questions just type that see you guys and take care of yourselves remember positivity is what carries you if you don't have a positive mind how do you expect to have a positive life see you guys